Shalom, everybody, and good morning. Rabbi Edelstein here with this week's installment of Rabbi E in 3, brought to you by Maor DC. Find us on Facebook, MERDC.org, or that wasn't Facebook, that was a web address. Oh gosh, I don't know, any, any more coffee? MERDC.org is our website, Maor DC is the Facebook title. Find us one way or the other and be in touch. Okay, just blew a few more seconds there, but uh, it's good to be here. This week's Torah portion is Emor in the book of Vayikra, Leviticus. And I better sharpen up my game here because in the portion of Emor, Emor are two of the most important commandments, a pair of commandments. One, the very loftiest of achievements, and the flip side, the, one of the very worst things we can do in this world. What am I talking about? The mitzvah of Kiddush Hashem, sanctifying God's name, that being the most positive expression of what it means to be a Jew in this world. The opposite, Chilol Hashem, desecrating God's name. Let's go right to the verse, shall we? It says, you shall observe my commandments and perform them, I am Hashem. And then it goes on, Hashem Kadshi. You shall not desecrate my holy name, rather, um, um, rather I should be sanctified among the children of Israel I am Hashem who sanctifies you who took you out of the land of Egypt to be a God unto you I am Hashem I shall be sanctified among the children of Israel and don't desecrate my holy name now what does this refer to there are different categories of both of these commandments one which we can often see in our history and I hope we never have to encounter that and that is in the most extreme of circumstances, to give up one's life rather than to violate the three cardinal sins of the Torah, idolatry, adultery, or murder, if one would give up one's life rather than do one of those, that would be sanctifying God's name. And if one were to fail in such a test, that would be a chilol Hashem desecrating God's name. That's one application of these commandments. But in our daily life, we have the opportunity, much more often than those extreme circumstances, to live up to the commandment of Kiddush Hashem or the opposite. And that is, the Talmud explains and the great commentaries explain, how we act in our daily life, how we treat other people. Are we people of integrity? Do we deal in a peaceful way with our fellow man? Because when we do, and when people identify us as Jews, Acting in a proper way, in a beautiful way, in a dignified way, that sanctifies God's name. And if a Jewish person, particularly this commandment, applies even more intensely when someone is publicly identified as a Jewish person or has a title rabbi before their name or whatever, because then the identification in someone's mind between this person and Judaism and Jewish values is even more pronounced. So if someone doesn't act up to that beautiful title, doesn't act with peacefulness towards people or integrity towards people or lies or cheats or gets indicted, God forbid. That's a chilol Hashem. And it's terrible. One of the worst sins in the whole Torah. But it really applies to all of us because the truth is we are God's chosen people, at least according to the terms of this Torah. And every one of us more or less represents godliness and has a potential to represent godliness and Jewish values and the Torah and the mitzvot in um, in the eyes of everybody else. We're supposed to be a holy people. And the Talmud says beautifully, someone who, a Jewish person, who conducts themselves well and honestly and speaks favorably with people and favorably of people and to people, they sanctify God's name in, in accord with the verse in Isaiah, which says, uh, you are my servant Israel through whom I am glorified. And the opposite, of course, is Chilol Hashem. Samson Raphael Hirsch beautifully says, that the word chilol is like the word halal, corpse. So he says, when someone doesn't act in accordance with the Torah and follows some impulse in their being or temptation and, and, and thereby doesn't fulfill God's will, what happens? We make that name of God halal, a lifeless and powerless corpse. We desecrate thereby the holiness of his name. And if other people realize it, listen to this great phrase, our example is turned into propaganda for the powerlessness of the name of God, which rests on us. Meaning, because we act, we, we call ourselves a Jew, we don't live up 
to what it's supposed to be to be a Jewish person. Now, I hope it's not a desecration of God's name that I've gone over three minutes here. God forbid. I hope not, because I'm here to try to help us, myself very much included, to sanctify God's name. Let's go out. Let's be masters of propaganda, uh, or uh, I don't like that word, but okay, for the beauty of the Torah and for the beauty of Torah morality and Torah ethics and how we conduct ourselves, and then we can truly make God proud. Make the Torah proud. Okay. I'm just contemplating such a beautiful, incredible thing. May I live up to that. May we all live up to that. And God forbid not turn the name of God or Torah values into a lifeless corpse. We should be animated in a beautiful and a meaningful way with righteousness as the Torah teaches us. Have a great Shabbos. And thank you for listening to Rabbi 3 in, Rabbi E in 3-ish. I'm going to get another cup of coffee. Good Shabbos.